हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द एस पी आई ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ क्लास टेन हिस्ट्री एंड इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन नेशनलिज्म इन इंडिया एंड टुडे आल्सो वी विल रिज्यूम आवर क्लास एंड द फर्स्ट टॉपिक टुडे द फर्स्ट पॉइंट द ट्राइबल्स देयर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड रिएक्शंस इन non cooperation movement tribal people were mostly dependent on forest for their livelihood the new forest policy of british government left so many restrictions as they couldn't take their cattle for grazing to their forest they couldn't collect fuel wood fruits honey etc the british closed forest for tribal people they forced them to make roads buildings but in return they would not be paid so the tribals started a protest against the ruthless torture of the british in the gudam hills of andhra pradesh a militant guerrilla movement spread under the leadership of alori sitaram raju here we have to know what is a guerrilla movement guerrilla movement or guerrilla war is such a war where a small group which is not a part of official army fight to fulfill their demands raju was a great fan of mahatma gandhi and was much inspired by ncm that means non cooperation movement he persuaded people to wear khadi that means desi clothes and give up alcohol following gandhi's ideas but at the same time he believed that india could be liberated only by the use of force not by non violence in gudam rebels attacked the gudam rebels attacked police stations attempted to kill the british officials and carried on guerrilla war for achieving swaraj but raju was captured and was executed in 1924 now next point swaraj in the plantations for plantation workers in assam freedom meant the right to move freely in and out in the areas confined by the inland immigration act of 1859 they were not permitted to leave tea gardens without permission but they heard of non cooperation movement and left plantations and headed home but they were brutally beaten up then in february 1922 gandhi ji decided to roll back non cooperation movement due to chauri chora incident on 4th february 1922 feeling that satyagrahis needed to be properly trained before they would be ready for mass struggles but some leaders like shardar motilal nehru nc kelkar felt it was important to oppose british policies within the councils set up by the government of india act of 1919 they formed the swaraj party within the congress to argue for a return to council politics on the other hand younger leaders like subhash chandra bose jawaharlal nehru argued for more forceful mass agitation and for full independence <clears throat> in the situation of internal debate and discussion two factors again shaped indian politics towards the late 1920 the two factors the first one there was an effect of worldwide economic depression the agricultural 
prices which began to fall from 1926 collapsed after 1930 so till then people were suffering from tension and confusion next point formation of simon commission what was a simon commission under this circumstances the government of british formed a commission the head of which was john simon and so the name of that commission was simon commission the main objectives of this commission was to review the functioning of the constitutional system in india and suggest changes but indian leaders opposed the commission as there were no indians in it when the commission arrived india in 1928 it was greeted with the slogan simon go back they protested against the commission <coughs> they demanded purn saraj to control the situation in october 1929 the viceroy lord arwin announced an uncertain offer of dominion status for india and a round table conference to discuss on future constitution <clears throat> in december 1929 under the presidency of jawaharlal nehru the lahore congress formalized the demand of purn saraj or full independence it was also declared that 26th january 1930 would be celebrated as the independence day when people were to take pledge to struggle for complete independence so students our discussion is up to this portion next day we will resume our class so thank you